far right that it looks like he'll be able to pick off. Loner does manage to escape, but with all this, really everything that Next Genius is getting, the only thing he's not getting is an expansion, which I think is really going to hurt him as the game progresses. That's right. When you get ahead in StarCraft 2, you really have to get more ahead, not try to kill your opponent. And how you do that is taking another expansion, but Next Genius looks like he has no no intention of doing so. So these players are still just going to mass up a lot of units, and we're probably going to see a very big confrontation in the middle in a couple minutes here. Yeah, continuing on what you were saying about getting more ahead, if you were doing what Next Genius is doing, uh-oh, uh-oh, looks like this Banshee is under oh. fire again. I think this Banshee pilot is literally living on only adrenaline. He has had to... Oh! oh. I, w oh I wouldn't God. go for it. I would actually retreat, Loner. You have five health. Oh, sorry. That was I, just close. To, I just had to relieve some tension in my shoulders after that one. That was. I need to scary. take some Xanax. That was pretty stressful. Uh, so the Banshee is moving back. Um, Banshee harassment has not been particularly successful in this game. No, you know, he's lost a lot of Banshees. If you actually count them up, yeah, he's killed some probes. Yeah, he's made Next Genius run around a little bit. But he's really lost, what, four Banshees so far? Imagine if he had five more Banshees in his army. It would be so much more powerful. But the big danger is that no expansion up yet for Next Genius. If you make a huge army like Next Genius, you're pretty much hoping that your opponent attacks you at a time when you actually have a lot of units. But as we see, Loner is actually getting an expansion command center. So that big attack that Next Genius is preparing for won't actually come. And at the exact same time, we have a probe sitting here at the gold base. It looks like Next Genius and Loner, may they take bases at almost the exact same time again? These guys are so evenly matched. Um, with the way they expand, um, nobody is ahead for too much longer than the other player. By the way, I can't believe Loner's back in this position, considering how late this base was actually taken. That's right. A lot of bad things can happen when you throw away an army like Next Genius did. You got overzealous, tried to finish the game. That is not what StarCraft is about. It's about building your economy. And he has really paid for that in letting Loner back in here. So it looks like these two both going to expand at almost the same time. The command center is flying over to the gold base. Nexus warping in, but Loner will get a little bit ahead in economy right now. The they are literally going to get the bases lane. at the exact same time. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I think that Loner is going to be in a little bit better of a position. He has more of the army mix that he wants. Next Genius is still trying to get those Colossus, or excuse me, still trying to get those Templar with his Colossus, and Loner still being very bold with a five hit point Banshee, and it looks like, oh my goodness, Next Genius is going to go for it. Has a ton of speed out swarming in here, but there's the stim. Oh my goodness, look at how many Marines and Marauders there are in that army, and Colossi coming from all angles. But the Siege tanks in the back are dealing huge damage, and Loner is forcing Next Genius to retreat. Wow, beautiful hold there by Loner. Really great point defense drones. It stopped the Stalkers from doing any damage to his army. And now Next Genius is in trouble. It looks like he's still poking and prodding. But as you see here, Loner at 146 supply against just 129 of Next Genius. And, I mean, that tells the story right there. Loner is in the lead. The Nexus is done. He didn't cancel it. He has to keep this Nexus alive. Is he going to just give it up? Well, I, it looks like he's trying to engage, but he is in an awkward position. Zealots are caught behind everything. There's the Stim and the Vikings from the right doing a ton of damage to the Colossus. But how is Next Genius eating through that army? More Zealots getting warped in. He does manage to take out the army of Loner. I thought Loner was playing so cautiously, but Next Genius pulls a miracle. That was actually amazing. I have no idea how that happened. And it is back to almost even here. 107 supply against 113. Both of them have their third bases up. And these two, this is actually the most even match I have ever seen. More so even than Damaga and White Raw. I, I, I have no idea how Next Genius won that. Yeah, I don't know. I was actually with the set. I thought he was going to lose that battle. <laughs> I'm we almost I just collected one. GG. I'm glad I didn't try to call that before it actually happened. Um, <laughs> so we have four Colossuses, Colossi. <laughs> whatever you want to call them. The uh, not, not the easiest unit to cast in the game. Uh, they are now going to move forward and try to just control the Zelnaga Watchtower. As you can see here for Next Genius, he needs to know if these tanks unsiege, excuse me, if these tanks unsiege like they are now, so he knows to get in a position to defend. Meanwhile, as you can see for Loner, Loner scans. He wants to see what's going on up here. And yeah. the big problem, that Loner is making right now. Oh, it looks like he is slowly trying to siege forward, but you know, 
even though this push might seem good, he might even be able to get some units. He's trying to target Oops. fire Colossus. He gets one Colossus. Whoa! Oh, and he will be able to pull out, but I still think the mistake he is making is trying to do too many front pushes. Next Genius has one army that all has to stay together. If Loner did a drop in the main of Next Genius, if he even walked a couple of units around the side, he would be able to do so much damage, but Loner is being way too passive at this phase in the game. You know, Day9, you are so smart because that is so right. He needs to split up what Next Genius is doing. And by pushing the front, he just plays into the little choke area that Next Genius wants him to be in right here. As you see, the Colossus are going to do a lot more damage in that area. Loner needs to just sit, you know, take a fourth base and harass. Going through this area is not the place he wants to engage. Looks like he wants to bait him back over here. Get these Vikings in here. The battle begins again. The Vikings hitting these Colossus. One down. Looks like the second will fall soon. And he is kiting right back to that planetary fortress. These Vikings are making the difference, though. One Colossus left. And Loner is in even a better position than before, perhaps. And it looks like he, oh, takes out all the Colossi and those poor Archons. Too slow from the Concussive Shell. Going to get kited so well. And now Loner is darting up. Going to be able to pick off an Immortal. The Vikings land. Oh. Loner is trying to end this base right now. But Next Genius, again, with a huge surge of forces from nowhere, might be able to hold this off. That one Immortal is doing so much damage. He needs to kill it off. But he's not target firing it. There it goes down. Will he be able to stay alive? I can't believe this. It looks like he is going to fight it off. But he lost all his Vikings during that. So so if, oh, if my Next Genius goodness. holds this off, which it looks like he's going to, Loner cannot easily replace so many Vikings, which did almost nothing during that battle. It was completely overzealous and that, uncalled for. That was a disaster when he landed that. I thought, oh, no. Loner gave up his advantage. He should have kept those in the air, just picked up the Colossus and retreated. So we're back to an even game again. I can't believe it. this yeah. keeps happening. <laughs> 116 to 121 supply. Uh, I can't is... believe it. These guys, they, they do so well to outplay each other and then throw away the advantage attacking in. Uh, <laughs> what else can I say? It seems like Loner every game has at least one Leroy Jenkins Marauder. And there's the Nexus up at the north going down. And oh, that, oh, that poor Marauder didn't manage to make his way home. But that fourth base from Next Genius is exactly what he needs to do, be doing. But Loner is not doing what he needs to be doing, which is using medevacs for drops, moving around the map with small forces. And it looks like right now, Loner's getting ready to take his fourth. Same timing as Next Genius's fourth. These two are like a mirror. Yeah, it's pretty wild. Um, note this is an orbital command, not a planetary fortress. So that means you can call down mules, which are basically like super SCBs. Uh, you'll see them mining every once in a while. Um, well, none right now. Oh, it, wait, what? Are we going to have a nuke? There is a nuke. There's a nuke finish. building. Nick. There it is. Oh my God! Yeah, it's a nuke. There's a big confrontation going on in the oh middle God. by the Levzel Naga Watchtower. Big EMP is taking all those units out. It looks like it's going to be an even trade unless he can take out these Colossi, but without any Vikings at all, the Colossus are free to do as they please. Oh no! All the gateway units are down. He can run up and actually deal damage directly to those <laughs> Colossi. And here, two Vikings come up a little bit late, take out one of them, and it looks like they're target firing the weakened one, and that falls. And Loner is having to. Wow, yet another exchange. This is absolutely crazy. They keep trading battles, and as these riders walk up, the Vikings can do even more damage to these expensive Colossus units, but he is targeting with Stalkers on them, so he's trying to clean it up, and again, I I don't know how this is happening, but 96 supply <laughs> against 99 supply. <laughs> these guys are exactly the same skill level. I feel like I've been watching two men punch each other for several days straight. And they just keep getting up and continue fighting. But the good part for Loner is that his units operate better in small numbers. The one huge advantage that's very subtle that Next Genius is getting is he's having slightly more upgrades. He is getting the plus two attack, and he already has the plus one armor upgrade finished. Meanwhile, Loner has only upgraded his infantry once, and that is really going to bite him as the game progresses. And it looks like right now he's upgrading Templar starting energy. Now what that's going to do, it, that signals that we are going to see Next Genius transfer into High Templars and use a lot of Side Storm that we saw win him that last game. So when he switches tech like that against a mostly Marine Marauder uh, Viking unit composition, the Side Storms are going to do wonderful. Uh, we got the Vikings now just trying to snipe the Colossus. They move back here. Now remember, we do have a ghost in the game, and he does have nukes. The ghost, uh, I'm going to shout at him. This unit right here, able to aim a nuke, um, which is constructed uh, over here. 
and I I'm really curious to see what his strategy is going to be. And oh my god, Nick, your prediction at the start of the game was dead on. Go to the APM tab next. Genius's average APM this game has been 265. And Loner, with a no less impressive 200 himself, is now moving on to the right side, trying to siege up these tanks by the Zelnaga Watchtower. Loner is moving to the right now because he has an expansion below him. He needs to move this way to protect it. And there's the scan. He sees some free buildings. Next, Genius is trying to get his army in a good spot. And oh, there's a nuke. He's going to try to bait the army for it. He's gonna, it looks like Next Genius sees it. Next Genius, no, he does oh, not my. see it. That is not what this you want to be huge. doing right now. Will he get the nuke down? Will it actually land? He's storming. Oh, he takes it denied. down. Denied. He killed the ghost before then. Completely crazy planning, but that that is not good for Loader. Look at this. So many units coming up, but will he engage the planetary? He might lose his entire army if he does, but it looks like, oh, he's going to send three Zealots down and find this fourth base. Probably going to kill a lot of SCVs, and this is really going to stretch Loader thin. Oh, no, look at those three SCVs at the bottom right. Already starting to wail away at those SCVs. Next genius is...